So you are lucky to have a very powerful PC, recent multi-core processor, an NVIDIA 480 or 490 GPU, and a marvelous 32 by 9 5K wide monitor. The hardware is able to run basically anything no problem. Squad, Warzone, PUBG, DayZ, no problems. However, as soon as you launch Battlefield 2042, it will either immediately or within half an hour either throw you an error or the monitor just goes blank. If you're lucky to actually see an error, most commonly it will be something about DirectX, for example create pipeline state, out of memory or something like that, and when you search this error online, someone may tell you that you have this error since your video card does not fully support DirectX 12 functions. That may be true about some video cards, especially from AMD, but in this case we have a 4080 GPU which does fully support DirectX 12. So this is a bogus error. Other error messages give more information on the actual cause of the problem. And they go like this, get device removed reason, device hung, GPU hang detected, and something like that. So that means that your GPU stopped working. So all other GPU intensive games run on your PC no problem, but for some reason Battlefield 2042 is doing something to your GPU that hangs it. The probable reason for this is that this game, Battlefield 2042, is developed by a very small indie studio that does not have access to costly top-of-the-line GPUs to test their game on it before release. That's why they release buggy, half-baked games, but we, the players, have to excuse them for this since DICE, the studio in this case, is a very small indie company without the resources to test their software. Anyway, when you search or ask for help online with this problem, everyone and their dog will tell you the same copy and pasted solutions over and over and over and over and over and over again, all over the place you will see the same thing. Update or reinstall your GPU drivers. Remove your GPU drivers with DDU utility and reinstall the new ones. Revert back to some older versions of the drivers. Update or re-download and completely reinstall the game. The all-time classics. Reinstall Microsoft Visual C redistributables. Update the BIOS of your motherboard. Some will even suggest clean installing Windows or going from Windows 10 to Windows 11 or back from Windows 11 to Windows 10 all of which are very, very decent things to do if your computer doesn't work properly. You should have your Windows updated, your drivers updated, your BIOS updated, and all that kind of stuff. You should do it regardless, and especially if games on this particular machine do not work properly. However, as I already said, all other games run no problem. Only Battlefield 2042 throws these errors or just blanks the screen. So from what I have discovered, this error mostly appears on top tier gear, especially if you have a wide monitor and one of the top of the line GPUs, and especially if you use ultra graphic settings, which is what you want to do if you have top of the line hardware. So if you want to play Battlefield 2042 without any problems, basically you have three options. The first one is to buy a console and play this game on the console and not on your computer. This will almost guarantee you will have no problems running the game, but you will be playing on the console. If you still want to play on the PC, the second option is to wait for DICE to release patches to fix this problem. Given DICE history, and the fact that it is a very small indie studio, you will have to wait about a year or a year and a half after release of the game for it finally to be working somewhat fine. If you don't want to wait, the only other option you have is to downclock your GPU. As I already have said, this error somehow appears only on top of the line GPU and probably Battlefield somehow stresses the GPU or its driver so that it crashes. So what you need to do is to fire any utility that is able to downclock your GPU. 
This is not an NVIDIA problem, since it happens on AMD video cards as well. In most cases, this utility will be MCI Afterburner. It works with all video cards, AMD, NVIDIA, Intel video cards, both processor inbuilt graphics and dedicated separate GPUs, and also it works with all brands. So basically, this is the only utility you can use to downclock or overclock any GPU. And in this utility, you have to downclock the memory and the GPU itself of your video card by something around 300 MHz. This is for a standard video card. However, if your video card is factory overclocked, they usually have the OC, meaning overclock in their name. In this case, you will have to downclock even more. So for example, if your GPU is 200 MHz overclocked compared to a stock GPU, that means you will have to lower the frequencies by 200 plus 300 MHz, that is 500 MHz. You don't have to do it permanently, you will only need to downclock your GPU immediately before you start to play Battlefield 2042. And in most cases, this will either completely fix the problem or allow you to play several hours before the next crash, which is a significant improvement over 20 minutes when you are not even able to finish a match. Another reason why this game may crash the video driver is the use of memory. So first thing that you need to do is to disable resizable bar and above 4G decoding in your motherboard BIOS settings. This will prevent the video card from sharing memory with the motherboard. And also, this problem in Battlefield 2042 seems to occur on machines which have quad-channel memory. And the memory sticks run at a rather high frequency, 2000 MHz in this case. Such DDR sticks are usually called 4000 MHz, even though they actually run at 2000 MHz. Anyway, you may want to try using the memory at its default speed, which is 2666 in this case, which means that the actual clock is 1333. If the video driver stops to crash in this game at these clock settings, but you still want to regain some of the memory performance, you may want to try rising memory clock incrementally and try running the game to see the maximum memory speed at which game is not crashing. Then just stick to this frequency for your gaming. I noticed another RAM related issue on two separate different machines using different hardware. The first one has an NVIDIA 480 and the motherboard uses DDR4 memory, the second one has an NVIDIA 3070 and the motherboard uses DDR5 memory. And in Battlefield 2042, they both experience the same DirectX error where NVIDIA driver crashes with out-of-memory message. Both of those machines have memory in quad-channel mode, but they only have four RAM modules, and the banks are not fully populated. As soon as the memory sticks were tossed around so that the RAM starts to work in dual-channel, as opposed to quad channel, those DirectX errors completely stopped. However, as soon as you start to use quad channel mode again, the error reappears. So using dual channel instead of quad channel to fix this error is something worth considering. I am the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, thanks, jingle bells.